All right, it's time for the final of the data fights. Number one in the organization, Xemnas. The Xemnas fight is a very interesting one to be sure, because you probably remember, well, Xemnas had like 10 forms. Are we fighting all of them? No, we're not fighting all of them. It's a much shorter fight. And it's also one of the coolest data fights, but it's also pretty difficult, especially if you're paying, playing the PS3 version. I'll get into that once we get there. Before we go, however, I want to equip all of my combo pluses, just because I can. I think I'm also going to equip the Zerk Charge. Why not? I think that would be a good idea. And I've got Ultimate Weapon and all the usual suspects as my Keyblades. Bada beam, bada boom. Let's go back and fight Data Xemnas. So we fight the first form of Xemnas. Alone. So he's gonna start using lightsaber combos against us rather than using his main reaction command. Wow! He killed me! <laughs> I'm used to that form of Xemnas being easy. Guess not. <laughs> Let's try that again, Xemnas. He's really not any different from his normal, though. Unknown boss fight should have been. Limit form definitely is a godsend for this fight. This is his desperation move. He's gonna do a long lightsaber combo. We'll just keep guarding it. Well, if he catches you in the air like that, that's not much fun. Hey, strike ring! Hey, he's gotta be using his reaction plan pretty close. Pretty soon. Alright, now he's gonna use his reaction plan on us, and if we get the best possible reaction command from it, then that'll just take out all of his HP. We saw two of them before, but now we're going to show off the final one. That's really cool. Clash, breakthrough, finish. This is going to reduce him to 1 HP. <laughs> that one's really cool. We're going to wait a little bit, and then... Fire Raga. And that's Data Xemnas. He's pretty much just a little bit harder than he was in the main story. But once you know how to deal with his combos, he's pretty easy. But that's not the end. There's one more form we have to face. We fight Data Xemnas, and now it's Data Final Xemnas. And we get Riku as a partner. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, you know what, Riku? I'm gonna actually give you some armor because I'm nice like that, and I kind of need you to be alive <laughs> for this fight. Uh, ooh, Buster Man. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And tell you what, Riku, you can have some of my potions to keep me alive. <laughs> Does this mean this is Data Riku? Probably. Anyhow, let's take on Data Final Xemnas. Well, this should show off the parts of the fight that I didn't get to show off in the main story. So for these attacks, well, whoops. For these attacks, I recommend quick running through and then comboing her. You can 
just quick run right through these orbs. That's not what I want to do. Okay, yeah. The reason it's much, this fight is really hard in the PS3 version is because the reversal reaction command here occasionally is just broken, it doesn't show up, and you can just die through no fault of your own. So it's the hardest fight for all the wrong reasons, basically, and there's nothing you can do to avoid this attack. Oh, now we're in Berserk Charge, so we can't do finishers. Let's go in and form. Kick Impact! That didn't do anything. This is the, okay, this is the part that we didn't see in the main story. He'll do, say, can you spare a heart? And then he'll start trying to cut Sora's heart out, which is really creepy. Riku tries to stop him, but kicks him the way. And now we play as Riku and have to save Sora. And Sora's HP is going to rapidly decrease. We need to get over there and use a reaction command on him before Sora's HP reaches zero. To do that, we're going to fire Dark Aura every few seconds. Like in this pattern to stop the Xemnas clone from throwing shields in our path to slow us down. So just use square every, like, second or so. And now we can use the rescue reaction command. And save Sora. Is that all you got? Yeah. Alright, Xemnas. Get over here, you butt. Thanks for the potions, Riku. The potions make the, giving Riku potions makes this fight a lot easier. You can use just normal blocks to reflect these lasers. Once you get the timing down for the lasers, it's pretty easy to do. Thanks, Riku! Either one of us dies, then we're just screwed. Oh, that this looks very cool. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, man. I should have healed. I should have healed before this. Alright, cool. That should be it. of the organization to give us data Riku for this fight. It would be a lot harder without him. Man, Xemnas is just like a boss. He's taking all of this and he's still not dead. Riku, Riku this is the ultimate weapon. It's gonna feel really cool when you use it. Oh man, this does feel really cool. And now we'll try to show off the swag finish that I've tried to do uh, in the main game. Infinity! Cursed Keyblade. 
And then he just shrugs it off like it's nothing and then dissolves into data. And Xemnas is the one and only data fight that we get a power boost for beating. So if you want to grind power boosts, you can either uh, synthesize them or you can defeat data Xemnas over and over again. And that's the data organization. And as a result for beating all of them, this chest okay. appears here. Which has the proof of non-existence. Proof of defeating all of Organization 13's replica data in the Garden of Assemblage. Perhaps it has changed, Sora. Now we get a silver crown! Aw, yeah! And before I forget, we're gonna use that their power boost. We're also gonna use that AP boost on, I guess, you know, Donald. Sure, why not? Oh my gosh, look at all those tents we have! I have literally never- there's no reason for tents to really exist in this game. They don't do anything because the save points are so pl pl so plentiful. Anyhow, that's the data organization. 13 of the bonus bosses down now. Holy cow. And now that we've got all of these lost illusions... How about we go and, uh, make some more recipes, shall we? Alright, we handed over all synthesis materials. Bada beam, bada boom. Go to creations. Aw, oh, yeah. First, we're gonna make the... We only have one energy crystal left. Oh, we're not using it here. We're gonna make the Shadow Archive Plus. Drastically increases magic and maximum AP and restores MP when damage is taken. Equip more to increase the effect. So each one of these Shadow Archive Pluses gives you an MP rage, which is pretty cool. Next up, Serenity Crystal. And I think we have to use the energy crystal here. We get the Centurion Plus, which, again, Lexius's weapon for Donald. A staff of extraordinary strength and great magic halves damage taken in critical situations. So that gives him damage control. And then Frozen Pride. To make Frozen Pride Plus, a shield with the greatest defense increases MP restoration speed by 75% after MP is fully consumed. And unless I'm mistaken, I do believe that is every recipe. Now the question is, oh, we can't make any more full boom pluses. We need manifest illusions. Oh, well, we can make more of those. <laughs> I would like to make one manifest illusion. Oh, that's all I can make. I thought I could make more than that. Why can't I make more manifest illusions? Because I need more bright crystals. I'm out of bright crystals, really? All right, well, I'm going to make full boom plus then. <laughs> Honestly, if you can get Sora to just have nothing but full boom pluses as his, his, his accessories plus Ultima weapon, his MP speed will just refill insanely fast. Anyhow, uh, take off regular full boom, put on full boom plus. And I'll take off Star Charm and put on uh, Shadow Archive plus. So now we've got MP Rage and some MP Hastes. Aw, oh, yeah! How about you put on full bloom regular, Goofy? Oh, and now let's take a look. So he's, uh... Oh, Majestic Mushroom Plus, Protectora. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Frozen Pride Plus only has 5 strength, but it gives him MP haste to guy. I still think damage control is better, though, because Goofy's MP attack kind of suck. Donald now has Centurion Plus, 13th strength. Only free magic and damage control. Donald has such little HP and defense that damage control doesn't really do anything. So I'm definitely keeping premium mushroom for him. And then Sora didn't get anything really new. But we were able to equip another full bloom plus. Aw, yeah. Anyhow, that's it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'm Colorful Arty. There are only two bonus videos left because we have two bonus bosses left. Then we're going to take uh, one uh, bonus video for each bonus boss. I think that'll be good. Both the episodes should be probably fairly short. Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.